Hey everyone, Eric McCabe, disc golf course designer here. I wanted to share an update with you on the farm at Quail Valley Disc Golf Course. When we started this project, we wanted to document our steps along the way so you could see what goes into a course design. In our first video, we showed you some footage from my second trip to the farm. This piece of property consists of about 40 acres of land with a couple ponds and plenty of trees that make it an ideal spot for a disc golf course. In our second video, we showed you my fourth trip back to Winfield, Kansas, where I had walked the course with Tyson and his dad and discussed some of the final details for the course layout and to see if they had any questions laying down the tee pads. Yeah, so this one, you do probably want to trim up just a few of the branches, kind of like, you don't, you don't want to have to be able to dodge it when you're walking through it. Can you imagine trying to throw a shot that the disc naturally gets a little bit higher? So a few of these smaller branches coming down. You still want, you still want a few of the branches sticking out over the fairway. You just don't want them hanging too far. Yeah, just trim them up. Even if you just trim them up up here, that'll take the weight off and it'll make that branch go up a little higher anyway. Our third video was a quick update so you could see Tyson picking up the veteran baskets and the tee pads were getting installed. I also walked around the course with Tyson just to see if he had any last minute questions. This brings us to our final video. Thanks to the City of Winfield and the Chamber of Commerce, we were able to have a ribbon cutting ceremony in March. Thank you to everyone that came out for this momentous event. It was a rainy day, but people still got a chance to get out and play this amazing course. I would like to show you a few of my favorite holes. Starting with hole number five. This was the first hole I designed on this course. There was already a natural fairway with a pond on the left, some brush on the right, and I really wanted to showcase the old non-working water wheel that sets adjacent to the basket. Next up, hole number seven. I am very, very excited with how this hole turned out. It is a risk reward style of par four where you have to navigate a tight tunnel coming off the tee and choose to either throw to a small landing zone or try to go for the green across the water. One really cool thing about this hole is the foundation was there for a bridge and we had talked to Tyson and his crew ended up building a bridge for this hole so we can have this epic par four right in the middle of your round. For hole number 14, you are forced to throw a shot on a rope if you wanna have a look at birdie. The trees line up perfect for a very scenic tunnel shot. Hole number 18 is a fantastic finishing hole. Placed slightly uphill with OB on the left side and natural OB on the right. Depending on the season that you play this course, it will get more and more challenging as the foliage fills in. We had an amazing turnout of players in March and the course looked great. But I really wanted you to see the course in full bloom when the leaves were nice and green. So Bobby and I had planned to go back out, but the COVID-19 pandemic kept us from traveling. Once travel restrictions were lifted, I had already planned a trip to go out to Alaska to check on another course I designed. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos. But Bobby was able to drive back down to Winfield, Kansas, capture some footage of players from a recent event. As you can see from the footage, the course turned out better than I expected. Tyson and the crew out at the farm at Quail Valley really outdid themselves.
Thank you for watching our journey on this disc golf course design. We hope to bring you more of these in the future, so be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.